Let's learn about the Mohs scale of hardness and how we can utilize it to identify minerals. The Mohs scale ranges from 1 to 10 where 1 is the softest mineral on the scale, talc, and 10 is the hardest diamond. The harder a mineral is, the more difficult it is to scratch it with other objects. A mineral can scratch any mineral lower than it on the scale and will be scratched by anything above it. For example, a sample of feldspar, which is a 6 on the Mohs scale, can scratch this sample of gypsum, which is only a 2. Common objects each have a certain place on the Mohs scale, which means by scratching minerals with different objects, we can approximate the hardness of the mineral on the scale and get a better idea of what it could be. The most handy object you can use for a scratch test is your own fingernail. It has a hardness of about 2.5 so it will scratch talc and gypsum but will be scratched by calcite, which is a 3 or anything above that. When performing a scratch test, try to find a flat surface of the mineral and apply uniform pressure to make the test as accurate as it can be. It's important to consider how much resistance the sample is giving you as well. If your fingernail is easily scratched by the sample, it may have a much higher hardness, but if it almost feels as though it could make a mark on the sample, your sample may be on the lower end of the scale, closer in hardness to your fingernail. A copper penny has a Mohs hardness of about 3.5, so it can scratch calcite along with talc and gypsum. A steel nail has a hardness of 6.5, so a mineral like calcite will be scratched by it, but quartz with a hardness of 7, will leave a mark on the nail. Even though these two samples may look similar in appearance, picking certain intermediate objects that can scratch only one may reveal that they have drastically different hardness. Just remember that a hardness test may lead to scratches on your minerals, so only scratch samples that you don't mind damaging.